My name is Bobby Byrne. I'm a neonatologist in Indiana. The Sim newbie is portable now. We are able to take our old Sim newbie, but she was a bit cumbersome to take from the academic center out to the community hospital several times a month. The fact that she will be tetherless allows us to take her out so much more efficiently. When we get to the point of doing chest compressions in a simulation, often I notice that the learner's ability to ventilate goes down significantly. And so with this new SIM newbie, we are able to use the SIM pad to monitor how the ventilations are going while the chest compressions are going on. And I think that that's a really valuable tool. The SIM pad is really valuable, especially in the community hospital setting where we don't always have debriefing rooms to go sit down and look at the video. And so using the SIM pad will be a major advantage in the debriefing as well. Our learners often will complain about the lack of realism and intubation. So they will really appreciate having a mannequin that has a more realistic airway to intubate. When we go to community hospitals, we run multiple scenarios in a row. And often we'll run scenarios where the infant will require fluid resuscitation. And so the learners need to practice placing an umbilical line. And between scenarios in the past, we had had to empty the reservoir quite often to keep it from overflowing. But now the reservoir is larger and it really allows them to provide a full fluid bolus. She's much more realistic 